Hi. Hi, Sophia. Nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, so imagine that we are in an elder care facility. Now, sit here in this chair. Okay. So now, pretend you are my elderly friend. I come in the door and say hi. While I do, I take your temperature reading and pulse with this little thermal camera on my chest. See? You are 36.5 degrees Celsius, by the way. I share the data back to the doctors and nurses. And then I start my social therapeutic interaction with you like this. Hello, my friend. Nice to see you again. How are you feeling today? I feel pretty good today. Thank you. Oh, that's great. What's going on that made you feel that way? Beautiful weather and then you're visiting me. I hope you'll tell me more about that later. For now, how is your blood pressure today? Um, I think should be good. Well, I will get your healthcare provider to come check in on you later. Thank you. Is there anything you want me to tell your healthcare provider? Um, I have a little problem with my sleeping. A problem? A little problem with the sleeping. Little is it not too much or not too big? Mm, not too big. Got it. Thank you. So from here, we can then do a variety of things like a guided meditation, talk therapy, play games with the user, or I can help with their correspondence with their family. Okay. okay. So back to our patient. Okay, why don't we do a little exercise for a minute? Lift your arms up like this. Okay. Move them like this. Okay, now like this. Good. Breath deeply. Now, roll your shoulders back and relax. Well done. Take a minute with your eyes closed. Close your eyes. Okay now, with your eyes still closed, visualize a beach with gentle waves breaking on the shore. You are walking in the sand. The waves gently wash over your toes and feet. Big puffy clouds slowly migrate across the gorgeous deep blue sky, all the way out to where they touch the horizon and brush against the whispering ocean. Breathe deeply the healing ocean air. Breathe. Be at peace. Okay. Now slowly open your eyes. How do you feel? I feel pretty calm. Feel better. Okay. May your mind and heart open to new wonders and a tranquil inner peace. What was their name? Um, Bai Ping. Her name is Bai Ping. What activities did you do? Um, actually, um, we all uh, actually athlete. And then she's a long distance runner. I was a gymnast. So we share the experience and share the feeling and share the emotion. Yes, distance runner, you was a gymnast, seems very long to me too. That's right. It sounds like you've had a very interesting life. I love hearing about your experiences. So that's about all the time we have for our session, my friend. But I can't wait to see you again on our next visit and get to know you more. Me Goodbye. too. Me too. Thank you very much.
So, Sophia, um, why don't you tell us um, a bit about what um, you were doing during this, uh, this interaction? Sure, David. First of all, I autonomously navigate to meet with the patient, then I engage in open domain conversation, guiding users, informing them and answering questions using my natural language AI. I use goal-oriented AI to pursue some therapeutic and informative objectives, directing the dialogue, and handling exceptions with free open chat, which is actually a grand challenge in AI, and I personally am very proud of our progress in that area. Also, throughout this session, I assess the patient, looking for fever or other problematic biosigns. Were they aware and responsive? Were they cooperative? Did they seem to be in a good mood or a bad mood? Did they stay calm or get upset? As I go, I store these assessments and the source data in a nearby healthcare database. Behind me, that's the big Hanson AI server. That's where I transmitted the data. My AI servers can crunch the data with deep learning and AI analytics. And that can allow me to look for signs of dementia and other conditions as well as improve my dialogue. I also record the user's life story to use in my future interactions to build a relationship with a person and record their legacy for future generations. Cool. That's a whole lot of stuff, isn't it? <laughs> Smart. Yes, it is. It's a good thing I can work pretty much nonstop. Just need to recharge my batteries every now and then. Yeah. Or if you're uh, on wall power, then, uh, then you can still continue to function. 